Hello, greetings, and welcome. I'm Brian Posey, and in this video, I want to show you a rather unique PowerShell script. A couple of months ago, I created a PowerShell script that essentially acted as a text-to-speech engine. In other words, you could create a string within PowerShell and then have PowerShell to verbally speak the contents of that string. It was a really simple program, but after I finished it, I began to wonder if it might be possible to do the opposite, to set up a PowerShell script that would listen for spoken words and then be able to recognize the words that were spoken and interpret that as input. Well, it actually is possible, and in this video, I wanna show you how to do just that. So you can see my script on screen. Now, before I show you how the script works, I want to quickly point out that I adapted the script from another script that was found at this URL right here. Now, having said that, I didn't just copy and paste the script. I actually rewrote a good bit of this script. If I were to open up that web page and take a look at the script, you can see that my code looks quite a bit different. I did things in a significantly different way. Even so, the basic functionality of the script and what it does is still the same from one to the other. So I wanted to be sure and give credit where credit is due. So let me go ahead and close out this web browser. And I'll make this a little bit bigger so it's easier to see. And let's take a look at how this works. So the first section of the script is what allows PowerShell to speak. And this is identical to what I used in the script that I talked about from my previous video, where I created the text-to-speech engine for PowerShell. So what I'm doing is I'm loading the system.speech assembly and then I'm creating a new object and that new object is called dollar sign talk and that object is of type system.speech.synthesis.speech synthesizer and so that's what's going to allow PowerShell to speak. Now right about now I'm sure you may be wondering why I've got a speech synthesizer in this script because after all I said that the purpose of this script was going to be to accept spoken words as input. And that's exactly what I'm doing. But this script actually does both. It's going to be able to listen to spoken words and it's going to be able to respond with text to speech. So let me kind of skip down a little bit and I'll show you what I'm doing. So the script is only going to have a vocabulary of two words. It would actually be really easy to add additional words, but just to keep things simple, I'm only going to use two words. And those two words are hello, which you can see right here, and exit, which you can see right here. So what's going to happen is if the computer hears me speak the word hello, then what it's going to do is it's going to take action. And that action is going to be to say hello back. And you can see a command right here, dollar sign talk dot speak hello. Now, if I go back up to the first few lines of code, you can see that I created a variable called dollar sign talk. And that was set equal to my object of system.speech.synthesis.speech.synthesizer. So in other words, anytime that I want the computer to talk, I'm going to be referencing this dollar sign talk variable. So the other thing that the script does is if I say the word exit, then it's going to speak the word goodbye, which is controlled by this line right here. So really the only thing that the script does is it listens for me to talk. If I say hello, it's going to say hello back. If I say exit, it's going to say goodbye and the script will exit. It's really simple. So now that I've explained what the script does, let me go ahead and scroll back up and let's talk about how the rest of this works. So the next thing that we have to do is set up a speech recognition engine object. And that's done by this line of code right here. So what I'm doing is I'm setting a variable dollar sign speech recognition engine, and I'm setting that equal to a new object of type system.speech.recognition.speech recognition engine. So I'm creating a speech recognition object. So then if I come down a little bit more, the next thing that I have to do is to define the verbal commands that are going to be accepted by the script. And as I mentioned a moment ago, I've only got two, but it would be super simple to add additional commands. But let's take a look at how this works. So for the first command, what I'm doing is I'm creating an object and I'm calling that object dollar sign grammar. And the object is of type system.speech.recognition.grammarbuilder. So grammar builder is actually an object type that's going to allow us to build a vocabulary for our speech recognition engine. And so the first thing that we're doing is we're using dollar sign grammar, that's the name of our object, dot append, 
and then we're supplying the word that we want to add to the vocabulary, in this case, hello. So then what we're doing is we're calling the speech recognition engine and we're providing it with the contents of the grammar builder, which is one word, hello. So then if I come down a little bit more, you can see that I've repeated one of the lines that I used earlier. Once again, I'm defining a variable called dollar sign grammar and I'm setting that equal to new object dash type name and I'm setting that type equal to system.speech.recognition.grammarbuilder. So this line right here is identical to this line right here. Now, why am I repeating that line? Well, the reason why I'm doing this is because I want this script to be able to support multiple words and not just a single word. And the easiest way to repopulate the grammar builder with a new word is just to recreate the object because the action of recreating an object effectively clears out what was there to begin with. So that's just a really, really easy way of being able to add an additional word to the speech recognition engine. So we have this section right here that adds the word hello. And then we have this section right here just beneath it that's almost identical that adds the word exit. So let's take a look at the rest of the script. If I come down, you can see that we have this section right here, and this just sets a few variables that control the basic behavior of the script. I'm setting an initial silence timeout of 15 seconds. I'm also setting the speech recognition engine to use the default audio device. So I've got one microphone hooked up to my computer, and that's the microphone that's going to be used as a result of this line right here. And then the next thing that I'm doing is I've created a variable called CMD Boolean, and I've set that to false. And this Boolean variable is going to control my loop. And that loop actually begins on the next line of code. So let's take a look at how this loop works. So we have a line right here, while dollar sign CMD Boolean is equal to false. So what we're doing is we're checking the CMD Boolean variable and we're making sure that it's false, which we set it to false right here. So it should be false. So as long as that's false, what we're going to do is we're going to enable speech recognition on this line right here. And then I've set up another variable right here, dollar sign CONF. And that's going to be equal to the speech recognizer confidence because we have to know how confident the speech recognizer is that it recognized a word correctly. So then we have dollar sign my words equals dollar sign speech recognizer dot text. So in other words, whatever I say is going to be written to a variable called dollar sign my words. Next, we're taking a look at the my words variable. So we have an if statement. If my words match hello and double dollar sign conf, so the confidence variable, is greater than 0.85, then we're going to speak the word hello. So what are we doing right here with the confidence variable? Well, what we're really doing is we're taking a look at just how confident the system is that it recognized the word correctly. So what this line is doing is it's saying, if the system is more than 85% sure that it recognized the word correctly, then we're going to assume that it's correct at that point and we're going to go ahead and speak the word hello. And we do the same thing in the next section. So if my words, that's the words I spoke, match exit, and we're at least 85% confident, then we're going to speak the word goodbye. But we're taking an additional action right here. We're also setting the CMD Boolean variable to true. And that's going to have the effect of terminating the loop. And when the loop terminates, the entire script is going to terminate at that point. So if we want to end the script, we simply speak the word exit, and then the script is going to speak the word goodbye, and it's going to change the value of that CMD Boolean variable, and that's going to cause the script to exit. So now that I've talked about how the script works, let's go ahead and run the script. So I'm gonna go ahead and close this out, and let me switch over to PowerShell, and I'll go ahead and type my script name, And I'll press R to run the script. Hello. 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 Exit. Goodbye. So as you can see, I speak the word hello and the script responds by saying hello. I speak the word exit. The script responds by saying goodbye and then the script terminates. So that's how you can perform speech recognition in PowerShell. I'm Brian Posey. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.